Michigan, and he would, like I was saying, he played Bowser in Smash 4, and Bowser is one of those characters that if you already knew how to play him going right. into the into this game, then things are looking pretty right, good so for you. we're going to see Bowser, Bowser versus Jr. Versus Bowser Jr., except it's okay. actually going to be Larry. Larry. Uh, who is maybe like the third best Koopaling? I'm a Morton fan. Uh, Morton's okay. I like Morton. I, I think that Lemmy is inarguably the best one. Okay. Um, oh, we're getting Roy? No, no. No. What? Does, Does he know he went Roy? Does Yanni use default controls? <laughs> that's not Larry. Did he just yell what that's Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, he did not do that on purpose. They got to restart. I'm not about to commentate yeah. Yanni's <laughs> Roy. What is this? Fake VTT. Okay, so here comes the bias. I was going to try to be unbiased, but now I'm absolutely rooting for Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Get this Roy out of my face. Right. I've had people call me out so yeah. many times Yanni for my bias comments. Yanni, a big <laughs> fan of the uh, cart to back air. But yeah, Yanni's the cartonist Koopa you ever play against. Yes. It's kind of his only approach option, to be honest. And that's not a slight. It just is the oh, truth. Yeah. There's that F smash covering right there at the ledge. Yeah, it, uh, it, 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 it grabbed Bowser out of his up B. I don't know yeah. if Schnigley, if he wanted to, could have gone a little lower oh, and tried did, to snap. But that did a lot of shield damage. You might have to look out for that in the future. It did a lot. It, what was that, the dash attack? No, that was the um the cart, the, the spin out. Oh, the, the peel out, yeah. Yeah. That down air is brutal, but up B out of shield, one of the few things that can punish uh, Bowser Jr.'s down air if he lands behind your shield, which he always will do. He'll hit your cart with the shield, jump over you, and immediately down air the Spot back of your shield. Spot dodging that Koopa Claw and just managing to keep this advantage. Oh, oh great grab. Scoop yeah. him up. That'll kill even Bowser Jr. I wonder if that's the cart or the body knockback. I'm pretty sure I hand grabs are usually the cart. It's the cart. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, that fire breath would have been cool if it caught him underneath him, but the All cart right. is more, more it goes faster than you think it's gonna. Yeah, but Bowser has deceptive. It's deceptively Ooh, fast. How did he not get forward smash? Bowser's real fast. Yeah. yeah. Like why? <laughs> nah, he's cruising. I'm not sure why. Cannonball. I died on the edge like that in Smash 4, and the move was terrible in Smash 4, and it was one of my most embarrassing set losing deaths I've ever had. Yep. There's that back air. Oh. Still alive at 189, Bowser is the heaviest character in this game. Yep. And just managing to rack on that percent. And Good there's forward the forward air. air catching that cart coming back onto the stage. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he tries that the Jager cross bomb, up. And it does not. He doesn't. Uh, Schnigley could have killed him for it, but he goes yeah. for the grab and just barely not enough reach. Even though Bowser does have good grab reach, he landed further away than he thought. The, the hit, the swing of the hammer after he hit the shield, I think, kind of pushed. There's a 100. Bowser oh, Jr. Never mind. 100 <laughs> percent difference in there. Yeah, but yeah. the game feels too even for that much of a difference. Yeah, it's always weird when it's like 170 to 120. You're like, this doesn't feel like yeah. a 50 percent spread. They're both. It doesn't about to die. feel like this is a heavy ditto. No, no, it doesn't. Bowser Jr. always kind of doesn't feel like a, a heavy character. All right. Yeah, I like Schnigley's um response to these uh, approaching carts where he just runs in the same direction as the cart and back airs. So it has seemed basically the whole time like Yanni has been kind of running this match, but yep. well, okay. And, and the result reflects it. For a moment there, though, they were both at last stock and he was only down by 47%. Yanni comes back, cart, it yeah. is like cart forward air or down air or something like that, and then uh, ledge hits him at the ledge with forward smash. Really strong ledge. Strong hey, move to ledge trap and kills. If Yanni gets top eight, can we put Roy on the graphic? <laughs> oh yeah, Prim big. Pri primarily, he'll be the, like the big main the one. The big one with just a Larry in the in the corner. Yep. yep. Just Roy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna see the Larry. At which point, I will pretend not to be rooting for Schnigley. Right. Schnigley also changes his ult, goes from the gray Bowser to the strawberry looking one. Yeah, yeah, he's he's very flexible with his Bowser ults. Which I think is good because he, Bowser has got one of the best yeah, ult I agree. combinations of the whole entire He crew. goes through the rainbow by the time he's out of bracket. Yeah. I like that. Ooh. That was very lucky for Schnigley. Oh, that downer gonna poke though. Yeah, it pokes a lot, you gotta be careful. It's better right. after he hits your shield with the cart. It's better to either just like immediately jump into a back row. I like there, that. I like that B reverse fire breath away. to cover that Koopa, uh to yeah. cover that uh, bomb. Ooh, that was bold. 
Yeah, it was. It was bold. Uh, that's another, I think, good option for him to go for if he thinks that he's going to cart, though. You have to tell yourself to hit. Yanni's going to jump above your shield after he hits you with the cart. You have to be willing, like, ready to absorb a cart hit with your shield and then immediately attack above you because he's going to jump over you. Yep. That's It's a something, if you're not ready to do that, the set's going to be so much harder against Yanni. I remember when Seth, Seth told me that. He would always falcon up air out of shield every time. And then after I learned that, it became way easier. All right, so Yanni going to take the first stock again, but Schnigley not far behind. Nope. I want to say if they, I want to say these two have fought before, and it came out in Yanni's favor. Yeah, I'm sure Yanni is. Uh, he would be considered like I'm sure he's a higher seed. He's considered the better player. It's not a huge difference, but right. Yanni like, was like like Schnigley. I think he's like wow. Like Schnigley has like a lot of really solid wins. Oh wow! That really seemed like he had plenty. He must maybe didn't mash enough, but. Definitely not too low to make it back. So now it's a three stock forward air. Deficit. Yep. Now it's starting to feel like a heavy character. Yeah. And when the forward air doesn't kill, you're at 170. Yeah. When that when that F tilt doesn't kill. Yeah. That will kill though. Yeah. Absolutely. Got to take a whole nother stock, which you can do with Bowser. And I've seen Schniggly. I, I I've do it. seen Schniggly make his way through entire brackets being down a stock and yeah. then just F smashing them at 40. Yeah. Larry or Yanni, very hard to forward smash because he always pulls back. Like, his main thing is to make it seem like he's close enough for you to hit him, and then he side Bs and he pulls back. You reach, miss, and then he punches you with the card. Okay. Which starts a big uh, that makes combo. Sense. Oh, that oh, up, oh. Uh, it did it did come out. They like, traded, but it's a good trade for Sniggly. You really don't want to trade at all when you're down by a lot, but when it's trading smash attacks. Yep. So Sniggly got hit by force smash before he even got to grab the ledge three different yeah. times in that set. That seems like a terrible situation for Bowser. Yeah, it, it it just what do you do off stage? I I wonder if he uh I wonder if he picked